Hello YouTube, I'm here from Blue Noodle Studios and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make a blog using Tumblr. So let's get started guiding you through this. So first of all you need to sign up for Tumblr. Okay, so once you've got an email, password and username entered, then you can go ahead and press sign up. So then this is going to ask you how old you are. So I'm just going to put him in a random age, 33 years young. And then you can tick this and press done. And so once you've clicked done, Tumblr is going to ask you to follow five blogs to get you started in the Tumblr community and involved with things. So just follow five of them. Then it's going to ask you to describe your blog. So add in a title and description. I've just done a sample here for Blue Noodle. And then the third thing is that there'll be a page where it advertises its mobile apps and you can probably just choose to click get later. And so now that we've completed the sign up process, we'll be taken to this page and this is called the Tumblr dashboard. So this is a place where you can view content which other blogs are posting, which you follow. You can post content using all of these buttons up here and you also have various links to other pages of the site. So if you want to post anything on your blog, you'll select one of these formats. Let's say for example it's going to be a text post, you can click on this and then you can create a post. Here you can set a title, so I might say my new video, and then you can have the actual body of the post, so I'll say uh, it's coming soon. And then you can add tags, so tags are a great way to be able to sort your content so that people can search through your blog and also so that they can find your posts. So for example I might do YouTube, and once you've done one tag you can press a comma, and you'll see that's added now, so I'm going to do YouTube video new, for example. And then down here you can either click post or you have a bunch of other options which can be really handy. So I'm just going to quickly go through them. So if you click on this down arrow, you can see add to queue. So the queue is a collection of posts which you've created to be published at a later time. And you can change that, you can edit that, I'll show you in a minute what happens when you're on the queue page. Then you can also choose publish on. So if I click on this, you can put in a date in words. So I might say tomorrow, 5 p.m. So you can do something like that. You can press save as draft and that'll go into your drafts just like an email and stuff. Or you can click on private which will post it as a private post. So for today's purposes, I'm going to click on add to queue and then I'll press queue post. So now that I've queued that post, I've just refreshed and then now you can see we've still got post zero but now there's an extra queue added. So we'll click on this and this is where we'll see our post in the queue. So you can see it's set to be posted on Saturday at 8am. So you can choose the times here, I might say between 5 and 6pm which is when a lot of people should be checking things. Once per day and then you need to make sure it's on the right time zone. So for me right now, this isn't on the right time zone, so if you click that button, it'll take you to this page, time zone, you can pick your one here. Let's say I'm in Hawaii, and then I'll press save, and my time zone will be updated. So once you post it in the queue, as I said, you can customise how the queue works, then you can click publish if you want to fast track a post and just publish it now. You can click on the post options, you can edit it or delete it, you can drag it around, so if you have five or six posts in your queue and you want one to be posted earlier than the other, you can just drag it or you can move it to the top. So then the other main thing that I wanted to show you is that once we've got our blog created, we've still created the title and things like that, but we haven't had much control over it yet. So to do that, you want to click on the customize page. And this is where you can really get a whole host of options and really make your blog how you want it to be. So depending on which theme you've used, the developers of that theme may have activated or not included several different options that you can use to customize it. So for example, here under appearance, if I want, I can select a red background. So I've got all our options on the left and on the right, we get a preview of what our blog will look like. I can turn that off. I can apply a blue background. So you can see that there are lots of different things which this developer has included to allow us to customize the appearance. So then down here we have a bunch of options here, so you can add a link to your YouTube page if you want, and then we should see a link coming up there, now you can click on social, and once you go to this page, you'll be able to see a little YouTube thing there. So that's just a cool thing the person who made this theme has included. Another really handy thing is the Google Analytics ID. If you don't know what Google Analytics is, 
It's a service created by Google which allows you to track how many people are visiting your page, when they're visiting, how often they return and give you all sorts of data like that. So that's free and you can go ahead and look up how to use that and then paste your ID into here to track your page and see how everything's going. And then a few other things down here, we have an add a page button. So you can use this so you'll have your normal blog which will be the main page of your website but then you may want other pages like you might want an about us page or a contact page and things like that. So you can just click on add a page and then you'll see it here, a preview, page title, contact us. So then when you click update preview you'll see that there and that's what your page will look like. So you can either click save or I'm just going to press back. So now we're in advanced options and one thing that you may want to change, you generally won't want to fiddle with all this kind of stuff, is posts per page. So you can change this to maybe 15 or less. So then we'll come back and then one of the most important things is the theme. So if you click on browse theme, you probably have your blog in the default theme right now. So you can scroll through these and a lot of them are free, a couple of them are paid, but you'll definitely be able to find a great theme to use which you won't have to pay for. So let's say for example that I like this A Thousand Suns theme, I can just click on it and then on the right it'll update and show me a preview of what my blog will look like with this theme and if I like that then I can click on use, otherwise I can click cancel. So this is my new blog, now I have a new theme and as you can see, as I was saying before, these, up, these options have changed. So I don't have the red background options anymore but I can upload a header image and stuff like that. So as I said, depending on what kind of theme you use, your customization options will change. So let's say I like this, by the way you can also change your description and title as well. Then I can click on the exit button, but you want to make sure that you save first, and then click exit. And then it will take me back to the page I was on before. So that's really all you need to know about Tumblr. I've showed you how to create posts, how to use tags and things like that, how to add posts to the queue and change how your queue works, and how to customize your blog and use the different appearance options, change a theme, and also add things like a Google Analytics ID. So I hope that this has given you guys a good knowledge base to work from and to be able to focus on creating great content for your blog and building up readers. So thanks very much for watching, I hope this helped you guys out and I'll see you guys later.